past twelve. Right now, it is to Scotland that we go to speak to a very good friend of ours, Andy. Uh, we, we're almost intimate with Keith Jackson. Keith, good morning to you. <laughs> good morning. I thought you were just about to describe me as Scotland. No, no, no. No, Keith, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> One of Scotland's greatest, not least on this story, yourself and the Daily Record. Um, Brian Kennedy, then, Keith, has emerged from the pack. Has he to become the favourite? I wouldn't say at this stage he's become the favourite. Um, I think, you know, to bring everybody up to speed, I think right now, having just spoken to a couple of the major players involved in this, uh, the negotiations at a very fraught stage would be uh, my reading of, of the situation. I, I, I believe, you know, and nothing's ever straightforward with this story, as we know, but I believe now for the first time that we're entering into the, to, towards the end game. Um, you know, for the first time since last May when Craig White bought the club, Rangers were placed directly on a handcart heading towards hell. <laughs> and um, I think the brakes are being applied. Today, I think in the next few hours are, are, are going to be pretty crucial. Uh, obviously, I don't wish to um, uh, steal your uh, story for tomorrow, Keith, but um, give, us, give us a flavour of what you mean. Well, you know, you, you won't be stealing anything because this, this situation changes by the hour. Okay. Let's, let's be honest about it. Uh, the situation as, as it stands, I believe that the Singapore consortium headed by Bill Ng uh, are, step, are, are, are desperately trying to get their bid across the line now. Is White um, part of that, Keith? No. No, he's, he's definitely uh, not. No. Well, you know, as I said, let's say nothing certain, but uh, you know, I'm 99% sure of that. Um, White has spoken to them, um, but that was with regards handing his shares over. Now, Ticketus play a key role in this because, you know, White's into Ticketus, as he keeps saying, for 30 million in, um, in guarantees that he made personally and against his businesses. Now, this is where Ticketus become key. Um, now, just in case, Keith, there's anybody on the planet that doesn't understand this mm -hmm. story, it is fairly complicated. Ticketus are the company to whom Rangers White sold season tickets. Uh, in other words, mortgage the club against to a large degree. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah. If, if we rewind to, to last May, he didn't have any money. He didn't have enough money to buy the, the, the football club and clear the day. So what he did was before he bought the company, he managed to sell off 100,000 of future season tickets. He raised more than £24 million pounds with that, uh, cleared £18 million pounds worth of debt. So, you know, they, as it stands, they, they, their ticket is due £27 million, uh, from Rangers. Now, the question is, does that go into a CVA port? Um, or, or do they structure some kind of deal with uh, the new owner um, to protect themselves? Which is what they'd done with the Blue Knights, wasn't it? Yes, but over the weekend they then started speaking with Bill Ling and the, and the Singaporean consortium. Yeah. Uh, and is that what upset Paul Murray? Is that why he withdrew his bid yesterday and said it's either us or nobody? That was on Monday, Paul Murray said Monday. Uh, that, 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 you know, he, he, it wasn't, uh, you know, in a fit of pique or anything like that. He said, look, Singapore are prepared to give tickets more money than we are. Therefore, I don't want to delay this process. I will happily stand back and let, and let Singapore get on with this because time is of the essence here. Uh, the, the, the people that, that know about these things are, are, are assuring me that if a, a preferred bidder is not in position by the end of this week, you know, by tomorrow at the very latest, then liquidation becomes almost inevitable. In fact, it's been said to me that they might already be past the point of no return. Um, so it's crucial that, that whoever gets in here gets in quickly and, and, and as somebody who, who is determined not to let that happen to the, to the football club. So Murray's back in, the Blue Knights are, the Blue Knights are back in, but, but Brian <laughs> Kennedy has upped his bid 100%. What, what does that mean exactly? That means he's doubled the terms that he originally put in. Uh, he yeah, was can, you put a, can you put a figure on that, though? Well, he, he tells me that it's double-digit millions. Now, that's obviously uh, minimum bid 10 million. Um, what, what it goes up to, I, I, I couldn't tell you. I know that his first bid um, was... was The uh, administrator said it, or they didn't fancy it. They thought it was... It was it was just not at the races compared to the other yeah. 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 They, I, I don't know. They said it was derisory, but from my information, it would have guaranteed any creditors, you know, very little more than they would get from a, a liquidation. Um, so obviously, Brian Kennedy in the last 24 hours has, has really moved on because Paul Murray has said, right, enough waiting around. I gave you since Monday. You couldn't get a deal done. I'm back in. I want this club. They've also, Paul has been speaking directly with Brian. 
uh, and the two of them believe now it's almost like a pincer movement. I think they're, they're saying, look, you know. It's time to flush everybody else away. Brian's come in. He's he's made a, a verbal promise to to, to double his bid. Um, Paul has stepped back to the table, and what they're saying is this morning, pick one of us. Um, you know, it's, it's almost like they're, they're standing there at the front door of the house, battling on the door, trying to. Would get they in. work together, Keith? I wouldn't rule that out. I wouldn't rule that out. They, they, they mean, they certainly they they share the same principles, and that you know what they're both trying to achieve is. To, to exit administration via CVA rather than liquidation and yeah. neutral. Yeah. Um, and I think that right now, right now, all that matters to the two of them is to be able to structure some kind of deal to save the club from liquidation, to get a CVA done. You know, and if, if they team up to do that or if they team up after that, I, I certainly would not rule my, that My out. mate is sitting here almost in frozen, stunned <laughs> silence. This is, uh, this is mostly frightening, this, Keith. But just explain again, please, why liquidation is not a good idea. Uh, well, Because that would clear everybody out of the way, wouldn't it? All debt's gone. Let's start again. Why not? Uh, well, you know, first of all, the, there's, there's the emotional attachment, you know, the, the Rangers fans, a lot of Rangers fans would say, you know, if it's a new company, then it's not the Rangers that, that they knew. It's 140 years of history broken. Um, you know, that, that, is, that is one argument. Now, if you take that aside, you know, the emotional thing, which, which is difficult to separate from the argument because there's a lot of emotion involved. Yeah, absolutely. But, but strictly from a, from a footballing perspective, from a business perspective, if Rangers want to apply, to, uh, if Rangers go into liquidation and come back as a new club, they have to reapply to get into the SPL. Now, there's every chance that that would be successful, but... But there's also would, a chance it wouldn't, isn't there? It, of course there is, Andy, but I think they would. But right. I think that what, what would happen is that they would get hit with at least a 10-point penalty. Um, for the, each of the next two seasons, uh, they could lose 75% of their TV revenue, and by applying to become a new co, you lose your UEFA license for three years. So there's no European football. Oh, for goodness now, sake. And, and, yeah. On top of that, on top of that, the players that, that are currently contracted to the club, you come back as a new co, they can leave. Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of these contracts could be declared null and void. Correct. As it stands, a Keith, lot of these contracts have already been altered. You, you might lose all your best players for a pittance. And, and, you know, from that, from that situation, I don't know where Rangers go. Not for the first time, Keith. The clock is chasing us, so forgive me. When is the deadline? When when has this deal got to be done by? Well, if, if you're there is no set in stone deadline from the administrators. If you're talking about when would, would, would a preferred bidder need to be in place in order to stop liquidation in a new call, I would say tomorrow afternoon at the very, very latest. I think okay. this is this is what I'm saying. I think we're into the end game. Keith, put us down for a call tomorrow if you'd be so kind. Is yeah. this is this story also unfolding on your website? Um, yeah, um, it's, we, we get regular updates on the website. Yeah. Obviously, we, we like to keep our, our, our best stuff for the moment. But as ever, you know, as last night we were working on this story at midnight. The, the situation is changing hourly. And, you know, the, the, the best updates are usually in the paper in the morning. Of course, but I only ask because there's so many Rangers fans asking, Keith, and it's as good a place to go as any. And uh, thank you once again for telling us what you know. Um, no we'll, sp we'll speak tomorrow and hopefully there will be a conclusion by then. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, Keith. I think we could all do with it. Oh, I think so. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's for sure, mate. Book a holiday for Monday. I think Mr. McCoy's could do with it, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Keith. Yeah, okay. That's Keith Jackson from the Daily Record, who, as I've said many times, have been all over this yep. from day one. I, just, just very, very briefly, as a Rangers man, uh -huh. look, forget the other issues regarding liquidation. If, if Rangers slipped into liquidation, but the club ultimately came out the other side, would that bother you? Yes. <laughs>